Um, uh, what, what's your name? Get the penis out of my, my name is W. Kamau Bell. Uh, you have a TV show. I do. Uh, do you think, as an interviewer who has a TV show, I should have known your name? Yes, I think you. If you, it's it's okay that you don't know people's names, but you need to get somebody who works with you who knows people's names. Do you have a guy that tells you who who people are? Mm -hmm. I have two. I have two people. Do you know a lot of people before you do the show? Like, do you know their names and stuff? Usually, I've known everybody's. Name. I don't think I've known everybody's names, but I'd say ninety nine ninety percent. Are names like an important thing when you're doing a talk show? Names are the key thing in doing a talk show. Really? If you don't know names, the rest of it doesn't matter how good an interview you are if you don't know names. But I'm I'm I like cars a lot. I have like I have like forty cars. So do I need to know names anymore? Yeah. I still that seems really hard to do. Did you want to be a talk show host? No. Why why do you get to be a talk show host then? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be a talk show host because I didn't want to be a talk show host. I just wanted to have a TV show. And they told me that the format of TV show I wanted was a talk show. You don't even know what they just you just said like, hey, here's they just gave you a show and you didn't even want a show? I you wanted a show, but you didn't even know what you wanted. I know I wanted my show, and they said... But you know what your show was! See, what, there's, there's only three different shows, you have to understand. There's what? Mad TV. Yes. Good show. Mad TV. Seinfeld. Seinfeld. And, bop, 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 bop. And David Letterman. Yeah! I, and so, I wasn't uh, doing a bunch of sketches and wearing wigs, and I wasn't... Um, you're hanging, Jewish. I wasn't hanging out with my friends, talking about the Upper West Side but of you're, New York. But you do live on the Upper West Side of New York. Well, I can maybe one day I'll get the sign. That, good for you. Good luck, man. Thank I'm really you. rooting for you. But the, the one, what I want is sort of loosely fit into the David Letterman realm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Are you where, Are you from Indiana? I know, but I lived in Indiana as a kid. Oh, really? Where in Indiana? Indianapolis. Really? How was that? It was great. Really? What did you do? Did you like watch a lot of Colts games? Or were they still in Baltimore at the time? I don't even remember. I was that they're a football team? Yeah. I, I was a Big kid. football fan, right? Not really. See, really? This is, again, not good. I'm not. I'm not good at interviewing people. You should know what people like to do oh. for you. You're. Like you that. like politics. You're yes. big politics fans. You, you like both sides of the aisle. You're. You're big rooting. <laughs> BA politics, right? You need to hire a couple people. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate That's it. That's good. That's the best. Being part. fake sincere. Yes. It's. It. If you don't call. If you call it fake sincere, it doesn't work. What if? Should I stop chewing gum during interviews? That would. Does be, it seem incredibly insulting to do that to know, the man with the TV show? That's not your best attribute, but there's a lot of things you need to work with. So that's not the key one that it leaves out of me. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your Perfect. time. Perfect. He's got a show, everybody.